This is a quick example of some interactivity in a simulation in OpenSim Virtual Worlds. So here you see space math maze and the quarter of consequence. Inside the that space maze there are um, alien and robot avatars that you can earn. This is uh, how it looks inside. So you can see there's lots of quarters to go down. They'll, there's lots of hidden rooms. Um, there's quizzes you can take and you can earn prizes. Uh, there are, of course, music videos and dances. And this is um, a non-player character. So these are programmed so that if you're alone, you can still kind of have fun and get the sense that there are others present, even though they're automated. This is the uh, corridor that has um, math questions to unlock doors. You can do this as trivia. Um, this is more of playground game type, um, but these are all, doors are all scripted. They interact with the robots. Um, as you can see, the, the robots have different scripts in them too for sound effects, uh, motion effects like the fire that comes out of the bottom of them. And this robot was actually built by a nine-year-old, my daughter, and um, I helped script the robot using open source scripts. And this is scripted in different levels so that um, this one in particular has the hover script. It has a particle script. Um, the ones inside the maze have play scripts for the music as well as the um, open door scripts. Uh, this is... Um, an obstacle course again interactive your avatar can actually ride in the boat and can go about the obstacle course now one thing I like to do is use up all aspects of the area I have found that a lot of people when designing virtual worlds will not design under the water um, so I like to design um, not only the land, but if you fall in the water, I, I like to have that design too, rather than just having an area that the avatar gets stuck in and it disrupts the whole flow of the, the simulation of the virtual world. And even if they're, they're flying, if you have flying allowed, you want to make sure that, that from above that that experience is also, you also think that through. And you see these are all scripted. The birds are scripted to fly. The fish are scripted to swim. Um, the gems are scripted so that when you're wearing the game HUD as your boat goes through them um, or you, you click on them, it gives you points that you collect. And as you can see, if you crash the boat, you can explore the land and water. And this is what I was talking about, uh, making sure that you consider what visitors might be doing and where they might go to make it smooth. So I smooth the land under the water so that avatars can easily walk and explore. And I put in things that are interesting to look at um, and you can interact with. This is the example of chat. Um, objects can interact with you in voice chat. So often you'll see that when you click on an object, it, you can program it to respond to you. This snake, for example, when you click on it, it actually causes your avatar to be eaten. So these um, are little surprises that encourage people to actually click on and explore different objects. Usually when you hover over an object, it lets you know if it's clickable. Um, this one, the examples here are, are more for fun and interactivity. So even this uh, playset, you can slide down the slide, you can climb the pole, you can swing the swing. Um, so it just adds to the immersion and motivation of being able to click on things. Now you notice there's a chest under the slide. A lot of people will put objects in just for visuals. I like to again encourage exploration. So if you click on that chest it opens and inside is a prize that you can collect. You would never find that prize or be able to collect it unless you actually explored and clicked on things and looked around. Uh, the Parrot here is another good example. It's a scripted chatbot. Um, when you script chatbots, they do take a lot longer, uh, but you can find basic scripts in open source. Uh, this is in comparison to um, artificial intelligence, which is a, lo a lot more in-depth. And the toy box here, you actually redeem the points that you earn by collecting the gems. And these are just some other examples of fireworks and things you can click on just for effect and interactivity so you can leave messages 
and so it kind of just again gives you an idea um, I like to fill in the space so that it gives theme and realism of course in the background here is an actual prison another prison maze that has a specific goal to get through and clues um, and this is just a, a basic interactivity example so I do thank you very much for watching